At this point, um, I'd like to turn the program over to Darmendra, and he's going to give us a little more overview on application ideas in agriculture. Just fantastic opportunities. So, fantastic take it away, Darmendra. So, take it away, Darmendra. Thanks, Wayne, uh, Anne, and Victor for providing an excellent overview of what we aim to accomplish through unmanned aircraft system in, in agriculture learning network. In this section of the webinar, I will provide a brief overview of some of the research applications being pursued in land-grant universities in the country. The research applications being shared today are meant to be just a warm-up for a wealth of other potential applications that we request from volunteer contributors in the future. As Wayne and Victor indicated earlier, there are several advancements taking place in the technical, policy, legal and application areas of unmanned aircraft system, plus there are other economical issues involved too. And that's why we need volunteers to enrich future offerings of the webinars through their expertise. Please come forward and send an email to any of the team members and be part of webinar series dedicated to unmanned aircraft application in agriculture. Unmanned aircraft is increasingly being used for assessing the effectiveness of disease control practices. One such disease related application in Florida Citrus also provide an assessment of advantages gained by deployment of unmanned aircraft platform over traditional aircraft. Typically, unmanned aircraft is flown not more than 500 feet above the ground level and a variety of consumer grade cameras can be attached for acquiring images. Although large area can be captured in a single image by deploying camera on an aircraft that typically fly at higher altitudes than unmanned aircraft system, the unmanned aircraft provides the advantage of capturing images with higher spatial detail as you see on the screen towards the lower half of the screen space. Thus, when it comes to obtaining a detailed view of the field and on as needed basis, unmanned aircraft certainly appears to be more promising. Another interesting application of unmanned aircraft is to study the effectiveness of heat treatment of citrus trees for controlling greening disease. Researchers have used thermal cameras attached to unmanned aircraft system for making decisions related to effectiveness of such an approach. Yet another fruit crop related application is concerned with evaluating alternative techniques to replace methyl bromide and aerial images acquired from unmanned aircraft have been reported to be useful. We know that potatoes are the leading vegetable crop in the United States and Colorado potato beetle also known as Colorado beetle is an important pest. The damage inflicted by this pest can greatly reduce yield and even kill the plant. Unmanned aircraft is being evaluated to assess the damage inflicted by Colorado beetle through evaluation of intensity of defoliation. For this purpose, images acquired by unmanned aircraft are processed to determine a decision criteria termed as Soil Adjusted Vegetative Index, also called as SAVIV, that is further analyzed with defoliation related observation for making appropriate decisions. Extent of defoliation can be assessed using spectral reflectance from plant canopies. Thus, unmanned aircraft acquired images with large spatial details are useful. In order to relate unmanned aircraft images to the real world, they are subjected to another level of processing, technically known as geocoding. Moving on from field-based pests and diseases in fruits, vegetables, and fruit crops, researchers have also been innovatively using unmanned aircraft for tracking movement of agricultural threat agents, such as plants and animal pathogens, invasive weeds and exotic insects using a process called aerobiological sampling. The slide on the screen shows a real-time detection of 
uh, using unmanned aircraft for expanding our knowledge on the movement and structure of atmospheric populations of Fusarium, which is one of the most important genera of fungi on Earth. As I said earlier, please stay tuned for future webinars to learn about these exciting unmanned aircraft system applications in greater details. Monitoring stress signatures due to the presence of any stress causing factors such as water, disease, soil is an important application area of unmanned aircrafts. In case of apple which is another important fruit crop commercially produced in 32 states in the country, water is nevertheless very important, unlike, very, very similar to field crops. And there is an interesting study which is being utilized, uh, excuse me, which is, which is using unmanned aircraft systems for studying visual symptoms exhibited by apple trees under a variety of deficit irrigation regimes. Uh, once again, viewers are requested to stay tuned for future offering of webinars as we intend to invite researchers engaged in unmanned aircraft systems applications for various fruit crops. In case of strawberries, this particular example shows the application of false color image and this particular image uh, is called false color image because all the green objects in the view of an unmanned aircraft mounted camera are color coded as red. And when this image is analyzed by converting it to normalized difference vegetation index image, which is also called as NDVI image, it can yield information about healthy and stressed trees. Once we flip commercial camera with a thermal camera, the same unmanned aircraft system can also be used for finding early signs of moisture stress even before they become visible to human eyes. We know that yield is the single most important outcome of all the time and resources spent by farmers in their fields. One of the potential research involving yield determination for citrus crop is also aimed at investigating yield dependent parameters such as determining citrus tree diameter and height. So reducing forecast frequency from the current two years to an earlier duration could also result as a use of widespread adoption of unmanned aircraft system. High level of spatial details that are contained in unmanned aircraft have acquired images have also opened opportunities for automating plant inventory management type of research. Images acquired from an early season corn field could help in estimating stand population, thereby helping agronomic experiments. Similarly, it holds a great promise in automating inventory management in open field nursery. Monitoring research using unmanned aircraft system also involves using radio frequency identification tag also known by the acronym RFID for remotely acquiring plant management information such as variety, when fertilization took place, when watering took place, etc. Animal in inventory management and determining cows in heat condition is another research application where unmanned aircraft system deployment is being investigated. There are scores of other applications listed on this slide where introduction of unmanned aircraft system is expected to help improve management of various types of operations. Several research applications that I have discussed earlier have relied on various sensors for making decisions. However, the types of unmanned aircraft system as Wayne also indicated is an important decision criteria and in the future webinars we intend to provide you more information regarding sensors and platform related aspects. Not to lag behind, chemical application in remote areas or for high value crops is another potential area 
where unmanned aircraft systems are being viewed as a potential technology and as a matter of fact they are under evaluation in, in California. Finally, when I talk about software for unmanned aircraft systems, it essentially means selecting software for mission planning and software for processing images. Images come in several small sizes footprints that needs to be stitched and several factors are to be taken into consideration not only for mission planning but also obtaining a clear cut image for an entire field when those fields are uh, captured using an unmanned aircraft system. So in conclusion, I would repeat that this webinar series needs your contributions and suggestions for bringing new and relevant content to the attention of viewers and I encourage you to come forward with your ideas and suggestions through emails to our team. I now invite